Hello world, it is Saturday, September 26th, and it's another gorgeous day. It's going to be warm again, but the cool weather is coming next week. A little bit different background, different setup than I usually use for my daily devotional, but I'm sitting at a table at our rummage sale. It's kind of slow, so I'm going to give it a try to see if I can get through this before uh, any other clients come. So I hope there's no background noise. Um, the devotion for today is Reliable Sources, written by Martha Spahn. And it's based upon uh, Mark chapter 11, verse 28a, New Revised Standard Version. By what authority are you doing these things? Martha writes, when I first became part of the household with the stepson, he was in elementary school, and one of the adjustments we all had to make was defining who had the last word on things. The problem was not one among the adults. The little guy would try every angle to be sure he got things right. More than once, he asked me if we could get pizza for dinner. After I said yes, I would hear him seek out the other parent and ask the question again. As an experienced parent, I was prepared for a child to ask again when he didn't get the answer he wanted. But why would he ask again when he got a desired response? We live in a time when figures and institutions we once might have regarded as authoritative are constantly being questioned. I rarely accept a news story as true until I have checked out additional reliable sources. And by, those, and by whose authority do I call them reliable anyway? Jesus received questions about his authority for teaching and healing from leaders who both wanted to stop him and wanted to hold on to their authority with the crowd. When he turned the question back on them, they ran through the possible responses and decided not to answer. We've all had these moments, second-guessing ourselves. Now that he's older, my stepson tells us he just wanted to be sure. I know that feeling, the one that opens a moment of hesitation. Jesus asked the religious leaders whether a particular authority came from heaven or from humanity. It's the first question to ask when we aren't sure what's right. In Martha's prayer, Holy One, help us to ask you for our answers, no matter what the question. Amen. A couple things that came to mind during this reading this devotion, uh, I do remember those moments as well uh, with her own daughter. And typically it was if she didn't get the answer she wanted, she would um, ask the same question of Laura, my wife. And, and that's, that's pretty typical of children. But um, to ask again when you get the answer you want, that, that's a little bit different. Maybe it's a product of our times these days when we live in such a time where we question everything. But obviously from the parables um, in the Bible, Jesus was often asked questions even when uh, the authorities got the answers that they wanted. The other thing it made me think of is, um, um, I think it was Martin Copenhaver, who was a UCC pastor, who wrote a book about the questions Jesus asked. And typically when Jesus was asked a question in stories, he, rather than answering them, he asks questions back of the people who asked them to get them to think. And I encourage you during this election period when the, the um, social media world seems to be rampant with um, provoking posts is to ask questions about them constantly. Perhaps especially when the posts seem to reinforce what you already believe. So question and probe, um, especially if you if you feel a desire to um, repost something, double check it, do some research, find out the facts. Don't just act on emotion. And maybe that's what Jesus was getting at. Don't just act on emotion. Do the research. Find out what's going on. Inform yourself and then make a thoughtful decision, a right decision. So thanks for joining me today and thanks for putting up with this alternative setup. I hope it works well for you and I will hope to see you tomorrow, which is Sunday, during our Facebook Live um, broadcast. Take care. Have a good day.